How you doing guys? I'm Trenis Henderson here on the infamous Living Realm Network. I'm at it once again. I'm really trying to figure out what it's like. And as you can see from all the other videos we've made, guys, everybody has their own different interpretation of what it's like. There's no real true answer. So I'm going to let Smills start by telling you what it's like. What it's like to you, man? Life to me is living as a passion. You said, you said life to you is living at your passion? Yeah. I believe life to me is yeah, living at your passion. Like doing what you want to do. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? But doing it to enrich not only yourself, but someone else in the process. You know what I mean? Yeah. I believe life is also self sufficiency. Right. And, and also, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that you can be able to sustain and be able to be a, a positive part of, the, of society. Right, right. So, I mean, there's so much other things as well. Like, life is is not having to be yeah. governed, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and not having to have uh, rules and regulations in, in terms of letting someone else, you know what I'm saying, you know of, of what you can do. What's your interpretation yeah. or what their interpretation yeah. like on you? Like, yeah, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you already have a, a certain yeah. standard already set up of what you have to do. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? And you can't just, you can't just come up and just be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you basically saying like, be you in a nutshell, like just be yourself. Yeah, and, and, you know what I'm saying, without being someone else. Right, right, right. And so that's kind of like what the last couple said, the couple from UK and Atlanta, Georgia. Paul was just saying like, you know, be yourself. I really agree with that. And also I'm gonna let her give you her interpretation on what it's like. I'm gonna let her introduce herself to you first. But, um, okay. Hey, I'm April, hello. Um, and my views of life what life is to me yeah what is what is life to you April? life is beautiful life is is waking up enjoying every day that you're able to take a breath and know that every day you have a chance to embark on a different form of life take you on a different adventure wow. enjoy a different wow. experience meet yeah. a different person the smell you smell life oh, is beautiful yes. life is life is what you make of it what you put into the negative and bad and that's, and that's yeah it's marvelous and that's the that's the that's the beauty of it like every day you wake up you're supposed to realize it's a new day you know whatever happened yesterday you can't change it that's what she's saying and so you can't change what happened yesterday it is what it is i like to refer to that statement it is what it is so i, I see you guys are a couple you, you know you're chilling or whatever so uh um, what what type of advice would you give other aspiring couples out there I caught you on the spot, I know, I know. <laughs> Let me wake up your senses a little bit before she's in your cup. <laughs> Goodness gracious, advice. Talk to me, April. <sighs> Tell them something. Tell them, April. I mean, we understand the compromise. Be truthful. Be yourself. Be in love. Not an infatuation. Beyond real, be true to each other. Somebody, somebody once told me that you gotta be very submissive to be in a relationship. You Is do. that true? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you just gotta be submissive, even for women, even so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
You gotta wake up and think every moment is gonna be magnificent. Mm -hmm. And like 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 uh, Smell said, you know, you gotta not let somebody make you who they want you to be. You understand what I'm saying? So that that's that's really all we're trying to say in a nutshell. So before y'all, where y'all from? I'm from Charlotte. From Charlotte. Where you from? Baby? Everywhere. Hey, she's from everywhere. Wow. That's good. That's well good. travel. That's good. She's a traveler. <laughs> you know. But that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So people that's watching this video that want to be inspired, if this was your last day to live on earth, what would you tell that person after you die? Like, what would you tell them about life right now? <laughs> what would you tell them right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Quick and easy. What Quick would you tell easy. them right now? This is inspiring. <laughs> I don't believe this government. I don't believe the media. I don't believe TV, the news, none of that shit. Get yourself some knowledge on your history, on your heritage, where you come from, and go from there. Right, right. Okay. okay. My turn. Last day. Huh. Love unconditional. Wow. You don't have anything to say else after that, did you? That's it, right? That's it. That's uh, that's what it takes. That's the end of the video, guys. <laughs> love unconditionally. Everybody I got, need love. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just love everybody. So we out here having a good day, man. We got April. We got smells here. We're going to go out here and enjoy the rest of our day, guys. I hope this message resonated with you. We hope that we helped you. We hope that you were inspired. Thank you so much for watching. This is the infamous Living Rim Network. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time.